I think most of us who've been iconographers and dealing with water gilding realize how difficult it can be to produce that perfect finish. Recently, as part of the Bethlehem Icon Centre project at Litchfield Cathedral, working with Lee Harvey, we were able to develop an excellent technique uh, for repairing gold and producing some stunning results. Here, Lee very kindly shares some of her insights. So, this is the 6040 mix vodka and water. And are you putting it on very thinly? Or? I've got a fair bit of, of moisture there. What I'm trying to do is just get it to soak into that gold. Mm -hmm. um, just watching that it doesn't drip. Yeah. You can see that's that's now making it quite matte. Yeah. So if I just do that a bit, just just making sure it really is taking. The only thing you have to watch, because this is has been burnished quite well, yeah. when you put the leaf on, you have to make sure that it doesn't squish yes. across because it's... It'll crumble and then it'll... Yeah, work. yeah. You can rescue it from that, but it's you don't want to start. Now, that's quite... That's so beautiful. Okay. Way. Okay. Piece and of then, cotton wool. Yeah, piece of cotton wool to do that really. And anywhere that looks more yellow yeah. than anywhere else, you can tell the gold the gold has got wet. Yes. The best thing to do in that case is to straight away put, put another, another leaf on over that. Yeah. And that way you'll stop any um, staining of the gold. Yeah. So, I'm just going to carry on. So we want to now try and do that bit. Yeah. Um, so there's a fair bit of moisture on there, yeah. on the brush. So what I want to do is just... Now this is... Uh, be careful, so... Like six weeks since we put the gold on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It starts to drip. I'm just yeah. <laughs> taking any excess off. So you're leaving that top one to dry. I am at the moment because if it gets a bit tacky, what it will do is it will take. Right. And then you get the cotton wool sticking in it and making a mess. The cotton wool fibres will yes. stick to whatever may be uh, wet. Yeah. And Say if the gold is, and yeah, if the, and then you've got to. Whether I put water no, down no, that far. Okay, so yeah. I'm just gonna. So you're pressing quite hard. Very hard, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice we'll, we'll overlap. Don't worry of about gold. that in a minute. Yeah. So. And a nice overlap of gold. Yes. Yeah. And you can see that's now really sort of beginning to to dry onto the surface, isn't it? Sort of pulling it in. Yeah. I'll just leave that for a minute because what I want to be able to do is when I want, when I take the cotton wool over yeah. it, it should be smooth right. and you should see all the patterning in the gold flatten. Yeah. If it isn't dry enough, you'll see it's lumps. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I should show that, I don't know. Let's, uh, no, let's no, 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 don't do no? it too. No, that's okay. fine. Let's uh, do the good, yeah. good method. Okay. So we can leave that for a minute. Yeah. Now you were saying about this bit of the bottom, so here we've got our two pieces, yeah. and then we've got that nasty little scratch, scratch haven't yeah, we, we? We can we can just put a strip across yeah. there. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So actually we're doing a, actually a lovely bit of gilding, 
as you can see on the cross here. It's really quite beautiful. Um, and we're now just trying to really raise it right up to the top, um, which is a lovely thing to be able to do. Um, and I think a lot of people would have thought, oh, it's too late, we can't do anything, this is impossible. So that's why I thought we can record this. I'll put this on our YouTube video. Yeah, it just shows that you can actually get rid of some scratches. Yeah. The, one of the nice things to do is um, to try and prevent there being a line. Yeah. I'm not guaranteeing it, yeah. but the best thing to do is when you think that then it may be beginning to dry, yeah. to try and merge that. Ah, top yes. leaf in so I'm just gonna try at the moment that feels yeah that's slightly that shows yeah. where it's dragging slightly yeah yeah so it's a little so dull. I'm just gonna leave that a second okay I might just try and see whether I can mm -hmm. merge this here although it's not so important because it's on an edge, yeah. isn't it? So it's not so, the so line, visible. Yeah. So just with a piece of cotton wool, yeah, not a not a brush. No, no brushes involved. So that feels good to me. That feels dry. I'm not using any pressure at all. I'm mm -hmm. just drawing this across the surface, um, and then you get a feel for whether it's dry or not. That feels pretty good. I can feel that is drying mm -hmm. it's still it would drag yeah. definitely if I yeah, used any pushing, pressure yeah. um, in fact you can see that sort of dullish area yeah. in the in the, yeah. in the video yeah yeah so just stop when you yeah. see that yeah and I mean I know you stop and go away and have a cup of tea and come back don't you sometimes when you're not looking yeah <laughs> <laughs> so let me ju I'll just stop the video for now and then we'll resume it when um, yeah. when you think it's dry enough yeah this piece actually I put less water than the top piece yes. so this piece actually is beginning to get there but I can still feel it dragging yeah so I don't really want to overplay it yeah, yeah. moment the, the ends, yeah, you? I'm not really worried about that because we're going to put a strip okay. across there, but you would try and just get yeah. those ends, ends blended. Now I'm just going to... Yeah, that... You see how it's, cut, yeah. it's come away, possibly because there wasn't enough water there. Yeah. Um, start to be a bit more vigorous in the pressure mm -hmm. and I put less water this side so yeah well, that's actually it's taken I yeah think. it has yeah. so you've got to always make sure that this isn't wet yes. or if your hands sweaty, sweaty. So yeah just keep replacing those yeah because I notice it, it gets sweaty very quick especially yeah. in Bethlehem where it's so hot so just yeah, that's come nicely. Keep on polishing. I can feel that is a tiny bit wet, yeah. but I'm just. You probably find that you can start burnishing that, mm -hmm. but I don't want to risk it. Certainly yeah. not as you're filming. So just check what you're getting on the mm. cotton wool. Sometimes you might get a bit of dirt there. Of course, right. if you get that, then when you burnish, you could and scratch. Scratch it. So yeah. So just to show you the difference, that's. Mm. You see? Yeah. So that's got dirt on it. So you've got to just keep it keep it clean. Try a bit of burnishing on that. Mm -hmm. So 
don't know how I'm using. What I'm trying to do is not do, not do that. Okay. I'm using the side of it, so there's a. Yeah. It's a nice curve on there. Mm -hmm. It's gonna. Now I can feel take. I'm f only putting slightest pressure, but I can feel that that is still damp. Still damp. Yeah. So I'm gonna take off any dampness <laughs> or surface dampness with cotton ball and then try again a little bit more pressure it's beginning to mm -hmm. come I'd say that was still too damp to burnish mm -hmm. but we could try the side let's, let's mm -hmm. go with the side so again, trying not to use the, I don't know whether you can see that, but yeah. that is. I'm just gonna. So a bit heavier now. Can you see that burnt, that? Uh, Coming up, you can probably see the grain of the wood actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's beginning to. If you're gilding this for the first time, then it's good to use a burnisher like this to get your first lines in, mm -hmm. and then once you've done. Run out the lines with something like this. Right. Um, I'm going to have a go, but I wouldn't. Don't want to over risk I it. I don't want to risk it because these tend to scratch yeah. if there's anything on that surface that's not, that's, that's not like yeah. grit or something. And actually, that's that has actually done a really good job. So it does. It does come yeah. up, doesn't it? Yeah. But you have to be in certain lights to see it sometimes. Yeah. So I'm just going to try this. Now you see where you get a scratch like that. That's actually just it being a bit wet underneath. Okay. Again, it's showing that it's mm -hmm. just a bit wet there. So if I do that with the cotton wool. Yeah, see those bits actually, when they're wet, they drag a bit. Yeah. So you can feel it mm -hmm. in the burnisher. So it's a, a combination of waiting, yeah. cotton wool, a bit of burnishing, more cotton wool when it's dragging a bit. Yeah, it's being really sensitive to mm -hmm. when you're using the cotton wool and when you're using the burnisher, you right. can feel with both of those what the gold is doing. Right. And that that is to a certain extent experience, just doing it over and over again. Yeah. So it's, it's practice. That's. And on this icon. We've had lots of practice. Yeah. And then it's trying to make the burnishing lines as thick as possible and joining them all up to yeah. make a, an even cover. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, I don't know if I can, people can see here, but you can see that, you can see the lines there, for example, um, where the burnisher has, there's gaps in between each line. It's scratched. Yeah. So, so that's. I mean, it's it's actually not. It's it's showing gold. It's not showing the bowl. So it's not going to be too bad. But um, you know, this this is a, a a good way of showing you the contrast yeah. um, between the the really good. Can you see the difference yeah, now? Yeah, that's coming up beautifully now. Yes, that's suddenly got there, hasn't it? And that is is nice, and that is the absolute perfect level of yeah. readiness. 
So it's just trying to get those lines. As, yeah. If if we were go, going to go to a second guild yeah. on this, I would then use the flatter burnisher okay. because the second guild is less likely to scratch. Yeah. Or if it does scratch on the surface, right? Um, it won't it won't show the bowl because you've still got a layer underneath. Yeah. So. doing with, mm -hmm. the, with the cotton wool. This is great. We can see you in the photo now because it's uh, reflected in the gut. Uh, so. that's, that's on the edge. It's quite awkward to get to yeah. at this angle. So I'm doing as much as I can this way and then I'll go back to that. I can feel that some mm. of that is still, still a bit down. wet. And actually, as you're burning you can it, you can see it. Yeah. You can see it, yeah. So. So that first one you put on was really quite damp. It the others yeah. didn't need to be quite so damp, and they've actually yeah. taken very well. There's no they have, haven't they? patchiness there. I think. There, you see that? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right here, we're going to sign off now. Okay. <laughs> 